so I just spoke with Kate, and she said that you had some ideas about maybe switching the costume up for this movie. It was one of the first things that you guys talked about. Just curious if you could kind of elaborate on what kind of ideas maybe you had. Yeah, I mean, I think it started with the idea that we have reached the fifth installment of yeah. something. And yes, there is a very iconic image about Celine and the, you know, the latex <laughs> and whatever, and the, even like the silhouette, which you don't want to touch because that's, that's what's <laughs> Celine in a way. But yet, um, she's going through a pretty intense journey, a pretty intense arc, and she goes and takes that travel to the north. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was important for me that when she's going there, she's essentially evolving. I mean, I, I don't, I won't be, I won't be that bold to say uh, if there would be such thing as enlightenment for vampires, <laughs> it would be that because that's not underworld. <laughs> but there is definitely a spiritual quest she's taking. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was important that when she comes back from that, that it's visible, um, in t like visible in her behavior and the new powers she can she has but as well it was very important to me that there is a visual um, change and we had long discussions about that uh, back and forth and that's how the nordic white coat came up mm -hmm. and as well the hair um, that is part of the you know the, the <laughs> reminiscence of of the north so there was ne never a plan to get rid of the corset or the catsuit no, no, no. I think that would be a. I think that would be a big mistake yeah. because the corset and the cat suit is, as so I said, hard. that's iconic. I mean, yeah. that's what if we think Celine, we think that. Mm -hmm. But that said, from that on, there you can evolve yeah. without mm -hmm. losing it. Yeah. For you coming in as the first female franchise director up in this underworld you know, series. Was there a different perspective that you think you brought to it that wasn't there before, or things that you really wanted to change and kind of put your mark on? Well, I would be careful with saying things I wanted to change, but I would say I was, it was important for me to emphasize on Celine and her character and her suffering yeah. and all those things with a very, I would almost say, intimate look. So I was trying to be closer to her in, in the way we observe her or mm -hmm. in the way we feel her. So sometimes uh, we are maybe not as removed from her as we used to be in yeah. the other uh, ones. We're, I think we're getting a glimpse into her interior a little bit more. I was thinking when I saw the movie that you, she seems more human or you see more humanity than you have before. Yeah, I think there's a vulnerability about it yeah. uh, because of her being a mother, because of her, you know, all the losses she had, but mm -hmm. as well the idea that she had enough of the fight, she had enough, and what does that mean for somebody who defines themselves as a warrior? I mean, I think there's a there's a lot going on uh, that you know to me was worth to look at with a very uh, intimate gaze. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed thank the you. movie. Thank <laughs> you.